This is spoilers. 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 Big spoilers. And in Wookiee, it's... That's... Wow, I can't believe you said that about my mom. Sorry. Yeah. Hi. What's up, guys? It's G and Nick. Hi. Uh, I, usually I let you say your first name, it's but okay, I said I it now to. for you. Yeah. Uh, spoiler review. You said it way better. <laughs> <laughs> spoiler full review of uh, Solo, a Star Wars story. Yeah. You can check out our spoiler free review. Um, if you've gone come this far and you just clicked on it, spoiler, spoiler, spoilers. Yeah. Uh, I will put the link to the spoiler free review in the description below. Mm -hmm. So from here on after, spoilers. S spoiler. All right. Okay. So, we're not going to do the intro. We already did that in the last video. Yeah. Uh, let's get into it. I personally was surprised that Paul Bettany, who plays Vision in Avengers, and we've seen him in a lot of stuff, uh, he was a bad guy. And I, I wanted to mention in the spoiler-free review that he was good. Yeah. But I People couldn't. didn't know. People didn't know. Yeah. I we, thought were, they, we were shocked when uh, we saw him. I was super surprised. Yeah. Even Anth I mean, Anthony I mean, had no idea until much later on. He's like, wait a minute, is that Vision? I'm like, yeah, dude, where have you that. been? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I, no, I, I thought Paul Bettany was... Paul Bettany and Woody Harrelson, for me, were the best characters in here. I agree. I agree. Um, stole the show. Stole the show. I liked how they had uh, Woody Harrelson's character, like, really, like, he was a gunslinger. Like, that guy moved real well. Yeah. And the heist that they did for those core things in the, the beginning, where his girlfriend, uh, girlfriend, wife, you yeah. don't really know. Yeah. Significant other. Significant other. Spouse. He did this pretty sweet, badass move where, he, like, he slid across the thing, opened up the hatch, and started shooting. Yeah. Because there was, like, these marauders after them, which we find out later aren't actually marauders. They're the beginning of the rebellion. rebellion. Why do you say it like that? I don't know. The rebellion was a very important cause. <laughs> History. The Darth Maul cameo was pretty dope. Loved it. I was Loved actually it. quite happy I saw yeah. that. Um, the only th weird thing was that he called for his lightsaber and just shot it in front of himself. And it's like, yeah. a, wouldn't she know? Like, she knows who you are. Wouldn't she know you have a lightsaber? It's almost like, in case you don't know who I am. Oh, right. <laughs> Here's my double-sided lightsaber. Guess what that I, I can do with this. Yeah. I do love how Woody Harrelson did like that stuff, like with his with, with his, his gun, yeah, yeah, like with his gun and stuff. Yeah. It was it was pretty cool. The the yeah, those were the best parts of the movie. Yeah. Um, I like the little parts. Yeah, maybe that like th this had a lot better little moments than it had big moments. Yeah, at least for me, I agree. Apparently, Han Solo can speak Wookie. See, and that's what like I was so choked about, and I didn't get we couldn't talk about it in the non spoiler, yeah, but yeah. in this part, it's like. You know, the history behind Chewbacca and Han Solo is like, I mean, it's like, it's deep, right? It's, yeah. it's a huge, and he, the way they introduced it was he happened to speak Wookiee, which he picked up where? Like, yeah. how did he learn how to speak Wookiee in mm -hmm. this slave planet where all he did was work in the mine, basically, and yet he spoke Wookiee fluently, yep. albeit not even like, yep. hey, you know, my, you know, me, I'm going to say Nick, right? Like, I mean, it's like the guy's like, like, yep. I know, yeah. I, I was just like, that was so weak. And I'm like, you have yeah. such a, an epic friendship. And how do you introduce it was hap like magically. He Thank God. I, I he never does up, it ever. Yeah. I pulled and, out like, my English to Wookiee dictionary yeah. and now we're talking. Yeah. Like, yeah. That, oh. that definitely took me out. Um, I kind of saw it coming too. A lot of the stuff I saw coming is... The thing that actually cheapened it, but at the same time, I don't know if I, I still don't know if I like this or not. When they actually said his name, they, it, I don't yeah. know if this was a reference to the Godfather. So in Godfather Part Two, when young Vito goes to America, yeah. they say, "What is your name?" and they look on the tag and they see he's from Corleone in Italian. Yeah. So they called in Italy, sorry, and they called him uh, Vito, Vito Corleone. Corleone. Yeah. Uh, but that that's not his actual name. So in this one, they kind of do the same thing where it's like, "Huh? What tribe are you with? Who are you with?" No one. Solo. Like it was so bad. So that yeah. that I thought like it was it was the reason why I think a lot of people didn't want this movie and why they also don't want a Boba Fett movie is is that all the reveals of how Han became Han. It's really tough to live up to that expectation. Exactly. And in this, they just kind of again they threw it in the by wait you're in half an hour. Yeah. And everything is in there. Everything Same fell Tom in Solo, place. Solo, he yeah. found Chewbacca, he can speak Wookiee, he can do this, he can do that. Boom. I think you hit it right on the head there where you said like, I mean, we have this 
image in our minds of how Han Solo came to be. And especially from the original movies, you're like, this guy's a rebel badass. And Mm -hmm. oh my God, like in your mind, you're like, I wonder how they met into that. And I guess it's just like in real life, your the imagination compared to reality is always going to be higher, right? Like, absolutely. uh, So when they kind of brought it up and maybe that's why they did it and they did it so quickly, it was kind of like, let's get it. We're not going to live it up to it anyway. So we might as well just do it. But I just felt it was half-assed. I felt, yeah, like it was... Tonally, I felt this thing was off, um, and yep. I never, and I didn't, I don't know, remember if I mentioned the spoiler uh, free review. Nope. Uh, okay. And again, you can tell where the old footage and the new footage that came into place. Yeah, the the humor sometimes hit, but it almost seemed like it was always wink wink humor. Yeah. Uh, was uh, there a point in there? And I want to ask you this because yeah. it was very subtle. Yeah. Was there a point in there where um, oh, I forget her name, uh, Daenerys, her Akira? character, Akira, Akira. Did she mention something about dragons? That's a good question. I don't know. I think I heard There was dragons. one point where she goes, I've been hanging out with dragons a lot. And I swear it was like a little line that they put in there near the beginning. And I swear she said that as kind of like, a, hey, do you remember who I am now? Like, well, my, and I, I wanted yeah. to reach over and say something to you. But at that point, Anthony was talking to you yeah, in the movie. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, I'll ask him later. And I totally forgot to ask you. But I swear at one point she was like, Dude, I've been hanging out with dragons or something. Now that you mention it, I remember a mentioning of dragons. dragons and, her and, saying and at that point, I'm like, since when did Star Wars have dragons? Right? I didn't, I never got that. But ever. I know this now. Game yes, of Thrones has dragons. Game of Thrones. Ah, yeah. ah, communication, Com- unity, community. community. We've already mentioned it's inconsequential. It may, like a lot of that stuff was just thrown in there. There were, again, some, some smaller moments that were good. I just, I just didn't care. I agree. Uh, when they were, when he did the parsecs. When he did a yeah. Kessel Run. I For me, I don't know much about Star Wars lore. I thought the Kessel Run was something completely different. Yeah, no. And then he did it in the 12 parsecs and they had that joke. It's like, well, if you round up, it's about 12. Like, yeah. You know, he's like, <laughs> if you, you round know, down, if you yeah. round down yeah. when he talked to Chewie. And also, movies have to stop having our, our, our heel turn character say the very thing that he's going to turn. So in Indiana Jones, the one Nazi guy was, uh, Donovan was like, make sure you don't trust anybody. I told yeah. you not to trust anybody. Yeah. And then Woody Harrelson's character, the second he said that, I was like, you're going to hey, turn. You're bad. Don't yeah. trust anybody. And and the, he said that in a scene where it was going to be directed to Kira herself. And yeah, you couldn't really trust her either. Yeah. But for me, I knew he was going to turn at that point. And so most of the stuff that they came up with was just like, I can, I can see this being telegraphed a long ways away. They did a piss poor job of making you, you, they wanted you to think that Kira would, would turn on on solo, on solo and like you know and be like kind of what he was like you know mm-hmm. he was the one that was actually going to turn mm-hmm. and like it was almost like they were trying to make her you know the pawn and like oh everyone she's going to turn on yeah. but like that didn't happen yeah. and i didn't expect it to happen either i knew like when she when she killed um oh, what's his name again D- D- drac dragon or whatever well, his name is. like when she when she killed him you yeah. know i was like i was expecting that they tried to make it look like that but again her character, I just all I could see was dra- like Game of Thrones, like, and maybe it was just because I just time out I of couldn't it. see out yeah. of it. The accent and everything, it was all there. It was the same effing character. I'm sorry. That's okay. This yeah. is the f word. F word. I don't know. Still look good on screen though. I can't. I, I don't think she look bad. No, it's true. I don't think I ever need to see this again. I agree. Uh, I don't think I need to see this again. I don't think I will see this again. Yeah. Uh, again, outside of some good cinematography, some decent scenes that were going on. This is whatever. Yeah. Uh, Alden Elreich, we, I didn't mention the spoiler for you. He did a pretty decent job, like I said, where I felt I was watching Han Solo and I, I still feel like I was watching Han Solo. Yeah. I did, however, like the mine scene a lot. Um, the scene where they went and, 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 which one I'm uh, trying to think when so. they went to go steal all those core oh, things. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, L3 was great and yeah. she liberated the, the robots. Yeah. And I did like when Chewie saw the other Wookiees. Yeah. And he went and, and he helped. helped them. Yeah. I thought that sequence alone was the most coherent out of all of them. It, 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 it felt very reminiscent of a new hope when, uh, they dressed up as, uh, Storm stormtroopers. Yeah. So it, it had shades of that. They, they put a lot of weight and, and you can tell with the musical cues, like when, when Chewbacca sat down next to, uh, Han in the Millennium Falcon for the first yeah. time and the music swelled up and everything and apparently the uh, Empire uses the Darth Vader theme song to recruit people because yeah. when they were doing the recruit it's like 
Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, you got I, a soundtrack. I didn't know everybody can yeah, have the yeah. soundtrack. I, I agree with you on uh, on the whole, like, with Chewbacca liberating the other uh, mm-hmm. Wookiees. Um, and that is a pivotal point because it was, the Wookiees were uh, an important part of, in defeating the uh, the Empire as well. So I, I like to see... Wookiees or Ewoks? No, both, actually. The Wookiees were part of it, too. Um, what I like to see was the fact that he came in and it, it kind of showed him as almost like, a leader of the Wookiees as yeah. well, right? Yeah, like, yeah. And it's a great point that you brought up, but uh, and I was thinking that too. I'm like, yeah, like because there was a there was a few of them that were fighting. If I'm not mistaken, I know yeah. it's been a while, but I, the Ewoks, yeah, the little guys, the little, oh, little gaffers. Little I would have liked to seen the Ewoks in them. What the hell in this movie? <laughs> I think people are too divided on Ewoks. Yeah, it's, it's like, like, like a, the Jar Jar Binks of the original. For trilogy. some people, it is. It is. Yeah, but it really I mean, is. the Ewoks were actually way more helpful because they helped the rebels. Yeah, there's there's some good decent stuff for what it is. It's fine. Yeah. All in all, I would say solo, more like so, no. Oh, no? <laughs> the, the the fact that I wasn't completely dreading while, like watching it while I was watching it, this is something. I, I agree. I'm I'm just happy that unlike uh, Attack of the Clones, there was nobody bare backing a Stegosaurus. So for me, win. That's a win. <laughs> That's a win. And yeah, so now we have the origins of Solo in this Star Wars story. Uh, All the better for it. Uh, Definitely, for me, ranks uh, number four out of all the Star Wars movies, because the prequels are one, two, three in that order. and Or sorry, two, one, three in that order. And then this one will be a four, and then we continue on after, because I think every other Star Wars movie that has come out is much better than this, just overall. Yeah. Um, Had some fun with it. It was okay. And that was it. Yeah. So let us know all the fun spoiler stuff in the comments below. What you thought of it. What are your thoughts? Do you agree with us? Do you disagree with us? All that fun stuff. Still love hearing from you. Either way, uh, you can find me on Twitter at the F words G. You can email us at the F podcast at gmail.com. Make sure you're following Entertain Facts on Instagram. You can catch us on Podbean, Anchor, Pocket Cast, Radio Tune, Apple Podcasts, a bunch of other stuff where we release audio content now. And until next time, I'm G. I'm Nick. And we are out.